bay. One way you can pollinate if pollinate if there's a lack of bees, and a lot of people don't know, know that, use a Q-tip. Go in the middle of the flower, like this. Wiggle that around. Let's see, let me find one that I may be able to get into. Go, go into that one. Go into that one there. Then um, just keep trying it. Okay. The ones that the flowers are dead, they probably won't work. And as you can see, a lot of them have died just because there's no bees. Now, over here, there's a pumpkin for me. You see that? But in my other garden, you have many, I probably have about 12 pumpkins in there. But use a Q-tip to cross-pollinate. And I'm going to take you over to the other pumpkin plants. See how big this vine has grown? And this used to be a dog kennel, but my neighbor was not very nice and took down half of our fence that was on our property. As you can see, this was all a dog kennel. Then he took it down my shed there. My house. But let's go in here and check the pumpkins out. Because it's kind of exciting watching uh, pumpkins grow. As they, in this garden, I got quite a few. There's one of them right there. Um, the ones the bees didn't get into, but here I don't need to cross pollinate. I put flowers in the garden on purpose. You know, like here. And I just sat on the one here like an idiot. But there's more pumpkins, I just can't find them now. There was one good sized one over there somewhere. I know there's some in there, it's just too hard to get in there. Those are peppers over there. We'll go check the cucumbers. This is, I planted flower baskets. And that was one of my t mother's outside tables. I got that after she passed away. These are cucumbers here, folks. The problem with cucumbers is when you look at it, you've got to be very careful of bees. I picked 12 cucumbers the other day, so I don't know if any more is coming. There's another baby pumpkin right there. Um, and of course, that's in a track, you know, when you, when you plant pumpkins, pretty much you got to use the whole garden. I got beans there and peppers here, but Next year, I'm going to have to do it a little bit different. Again, like I said, I planted uh, flowers around here just so that it would attract the bees. And I'll show you the beans here. See right there? And my bird bath has to be filled up every day for the birds. I got one over there as well. 